Hey Deckers, Returnal is here and it was looking a little bit bleak at the beginning, especially with Wild Hearts not playing too well, with Returnal also on lower settings, struggling with 30 frames per second. Unfortunately that is the case and it does actually get worse on the default low settings, however we do seem to have a bit of a workaround. Although it doesn't hold a perfect 30 frames per second all of the time, it does work exceptionally well. So. Unfortunately, this implements FSR 1 and FSR quality mode just makes the game look horrible and doesn't actually give us any gains in frames per second. As you can see here, it possibly actually even hurts the frames per second with it dipping as low as 22 frames per second with FSR quality on. And I must admit, no matter what screen I look at with FSR 1 enabled, it just looks absolutely hideous. Okay, so before we get on to the absolute best settings, just to touch on the multiplayer aspect of this, I haven't actually managed to get it working on Steam Deck yet. I queued for around 5 minutes trying to get into somebody else's match, and then I gave up and tried to host my own match, and it went into this joining state, but then it just kind of sat there. And the only way to get out of that screen was to quit out of the game. So be warned, and if you've managed to get this working, please let us know in the comments below, but I wasn't able to join another session. Okay, so how do we get a pretty much perfectly stable 30 frames per second? Well, I say stable. It's mostly stable, but it's definitely playable. You'll notice that the graphics aren't as nice, but on the Steam Deck screen, it doesn't actually look too bad. If you're on a larger monitor, this will look pretty bad. But believe me, on the Steam Deck screen, it is actually pretty good. So you can see here, even with tons of stuff going on, we're pretty much at that 30 frames per second. We do get some dips very occasionally, but they are very, very minor. And you don't even really notice them on the screen if you weren't watching that counter up in the top right. So these settings are the lowest preset, frame cap in-game at 30 frames per second, V-Sync off, and then enable resolution scaling to 60%. Anything more than this, it seems to jutter around a little bit more, but you can tweak it if you want, but I found 60% was the sweet spot, so it not looking absolutely hideous and actually gaining quite a lot of performance. No matter what I chucked at the game, it did seem to hold extremely stable. Dynamic resolution, even with that minimum at 60, still gave me some big jumps and big skips and wasn't a very nice experience, although it did give slightly nicer graphics in a larger portion of the time. I just found that holding it at 60 just gave me a much more consistent experience. As you can see here, even with lots of darting around, lots of effects going off, we do get a very quick dips every now and then, but not noticeable when you're diving around in the combat. And it does make it actually playable on the Steam Deck. Hopefully we'll get some more patches for this and it will even out and we can obviously reduce that resolution scaling down a bit so we can get nicer graphics out of this. But it looks like this is going to be a 30 frames per second targeted game. And I really hope that it does improve because it is actually quite fun on the Steam Deck. So I look forward to diving into this a bit more and hopefully with some better performance. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be diving into this one at £50 on the Steam Deck. I don't think it's a day one purchase. Wait for these patches and potentially a sale. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.